It's time to make it Just give it a try Cause you can make it Like the old fat guy Welcome to this episode of You Can Make It with David Farrell, the old fat guy. Today I'm going to make something I really enjoy, which is macaroni and cheese. But not just any macaroni and cheese. To most people, macaroni and cheese comes in a box with some really brightly colored orange powder. I want to make adult ham, mac, and cheese. Well, what makes it adult? Well, there's no dirty words or anything. Just a few more flavors. More than just the macaroni and cheese. I want to put some salsa in it, some ham in it to give it a bit of meatiness, and a little bit of jalapeno just to give it some spiciness, but not enough to make it hot so it would burn. So kids will like this too, but it's really geared to us adults. So to get right into making my adult ham mac and cheese, I have uh, preheated a pan. I'd normally use a pot, but I've just heated a low pan so you can see what I'm doing in it. And we're going to make a basic roux. And what we're going to do is we're going to put 60 milliliters or one quarter of a cup plus two teaspoons of butter in the pan. And we're going to let it melt. This will just take a few moments to melt. Okay, the butter's just about totally melted. And when you're making your roux, you usually use equal parts of flour and equal parts of butter. So I have 60 milliliters of butter. So I'm gonna add 60 milliliters or a quarter of a cup plus two teaspoons of flour to the butter. And we'll just uh, turn it on. Excuse me, mix it in rather. There we go. Just want the butter all mixed together with the flour to make a paste. It's called a roux. And you want no lumps in your roux, just keep stirring and the lumps will come out. So now that we've got the flour mixed with the butter, we can add a liquid. And the purpose of the roux is to thicken the liquid to make a sauce. So we're just going to slowly stir in. 400 milliliters or about one and two thirds cups of milk. Just slowly stir it into the butter. There we go. Now, we need this to heat up and just start to get a little bubbling on it. That's going to take a few minutes and we're going to stir it constantly while we're doing it. And the mixture is going to get really thick. So it's taken about three to four minutes for the mixture to get creamy and thick. I had to switch to a larger pot. The pan wasn't going to hold everything. So use a big pot when you do it. I made that mistake. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add to the roux about 15 milliliters of chopped jalapeno. And that's about a tablespoon. And two milliliters each of salt and pepper, which is about half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. So just throw that in and give it a stir around. You see it's getting quite thick now. And then to that we're going to add the cheese to make it a cheese sauce. Now I've used 250 grams of cheddar but also threw in a little bit of manchego just to give it a little different flavor. Feel free to use all cheddar 
I like a sharp cheddar in it. So there's 250 grams cubed up, which is about 500 milliliters or two cups cubed up into medium cubes. And just throw that into the roux. And the roux magically becomes a cheese sauce. You just want to stir it until the cheese is all melted. So the cheese is pretty well melted. There's just a couple little lumps in there and we'll stir those out as it heats up a bit more. Now what you have here is a really good cheese sauce that you could also use on broccoli or cauliflower or anything else you like, but it makes a great mac and cheese. So we just got it all melted and we're just gonna take it off the heat and we're finished with our uh, induction heater. So just give me a moment to set up my workspace a little differently and we'll put our mac and cheese together. So we now have to put a macaroni and cheese together as our casserole. And what I have here is a one and a half liter or one and a half quart casserole. And I cooked up 250 grams or about 500 milliliters or two cups of macaroni. Now that weight and measures was done before I cooked it. And then I cooked it the package direction so it's fully cooked now. And I'm going to put half of that in my casserole. There we go. And we also have 250 milliliters or a cup of a medium dice ham. You can use ham from the deli, ham from a leftover ham meal, whatever you've got. And just spread half of that over the macaroni. There we go. And I also have 175 milliliters or three quarters of a cup of salsa. And I'm just going to spread half of that over top of the ham. Let's get it mixed around. There we are. And now that we got the salsa in, we're going to put half of the sauce we made over the top of that. There we go. A little bit more sauce, there we go. And we'll spread that around on it. And then we're just going to repeat those layers with the other half of each of those ingredients. So we'll put the other half of the macaroni over the top of the cheese. There we go. And then we'll put the remaining ham over the top of the macaroni. remaining salsa over the top of that. I just get a spoon to get the last little bit of it out here. It's just a bit easier. And we'll just spread that around on top of the ham. There we go. And then the last half of the sauce poured over the top of all that. There we go. And spread that around so it covers it all. There we are. Now that we got the sauce on top of it, I like a little bit of brown crunchy stuff on the top of my macaroni and cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 50 milliliters uh, or about a quarter of a cup of breadcrumbs 
over the top of the last layer of cheese. And that just gives it a nice topping on the macaroni and cheese. And then if you want it to brown up nicely, you want to put a little bit of butter on top of those breadcrumbs. So I have 15 milliliters or a tablespoon of butter that I'm just going to break into chunks and dot over the breadcrumbs. So we just break that up into little pieces and spread it around. There we go, that should be lots. Okay, now I preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and this is going to go in the oven for about 40 minutes. You want it to be bubbly and uh, the breadcrumbs to be a little browned on top, so let's fire it in my oven. I'll see you in 40 minutes. So the macaroni cooked for 40 minutes. It's nice and bubbly around the edges. Got some nice browning on it. And I've let it sit for 10 minutes because it just sets up a bit better. Now before I get into trying it, I did want to ask you something. Do you know why old Italian chefs don't like to try new recipes? They're stuck in the pasta. Anyway, let's get into trying our macaroni and cheese. So we'll just scoop some out. Oh, it's so creamy. Look at that. Nice and creamy sauce all over it. Oh, I can just hardly wait to try it. We'll just dive in there. Mmm. Really cheesy. It's creamy in the sauce. There's just a little bit of spice from the jalapeno. You wouldn't know that there's any salsa in there because it just cooks into it, but it makes the sauce much more interesting. This is a really good ham, macaroni, and cheese, and it's perfect for adults. And the best part is, you can make it. I have a good woman. I ain't good looking. But I do some cooking. I'm the old fat guy. So use that oven if you want some loving. Be like the old fat guy. Like the old fat girl.